Hello, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. I am going to do a quick little video. I say that every time and I promise I mean it. I'm still using my Crow Tarot cards. I love them. Uh, MJ Cullinane. I don't know why I'm feeling them right lately, the birds, and maybe because I was just in the Yukon and I saw all those ravens and I don't know. I'm not scared of them. I think they are messengers. I have said this on other videos. Birds are messengers. They fly in the air. Air is about communication. Um, things moving from place to place. And they are tuned in to um, nature and all that's going around us. And the breezes and the wind. And I've been told many times, Spirit has told me, listen to the wind. And I do. So that's what I'm doing. So today... I'm going to do a couple little more uh, different things besides politics. Um, William and Harry. Harry's supposed to go back to the well child celebration at the end of the month. And I won't, there's talk that he might actually reconcile with William or they might meet or something. Because I think they're both involved with it. I think it's the 16th anniversary. Anyway, I'm going to look into that. I'm also going to get into an energy with Harry and Megan because he just had his 40th. He got a big chunk of money from his trust I think it was his mother's or from the when he turned 40 I think it was like 10 million dollars and I don't know I I'm not on the I used to kind of bash Megan I'm kind of over that I don't feel it's helpful uh I feel like they're both doing what they need to do in life and it's any kind of relationship but I'm gonna see just because people are interested what's going on with them and I'm just going to check in on the energy with uh, Trump and Harris, the election. I know that is politics, but I want to just get a feel. The polls are coming back where it's mostly tied. Ohio is, uh, isn't, I think. Um, and But the Michigan is, she's ahead in Michigan and slightly in Pennsylvania, but it's all within the margin of error. So, so I'm going to look into that. And I think that's all. Everything, Queen of Wands, everything... Uh, is still the the energy I saw in the past with her having that little bit of a slump. I I haven't seen that yet. I still in my last video I talked about this where I'd like her to put some more technical um, information out there about what she's exactly going to do or some plan. And I all of a sudden I have a sense that they're still formulated. And now that I'm talking about it out loud, I say it out loud. I have a sense that somebody is formulating that and going to they're going to come out with that. I sense that now. I just realized. I didn't feel that before. So that's why I was concerned about it. But now I can see that that's going to happen. So let, let us begin. Thank you again for all my new subscribers, my old subscribers, my viewers, lovely comments. Thanks and all the shares you guys do for me. It means a lot. My algorithm, try to keep it activated, whatever that looks like. Because um, I, I feel like I want to, you know, do something, do the right thing and bring light into all of this cuckoo banana stuff the best I can. All right. I'm going to just shift into the royal family. I'm going to get my energy into those individuals, Harry and William. Uh, I know that William and Kate put out that lovely video and, uh, of their family trouncing around the woods <laughs> and that she was done with her chemo, which I know it was a precautionary chemo because they did find cells. So I think she's going to be just fine, but it's still it's traumatic, traumatizing. Yeah, with my breast cancer, once you have cancer, you, you it never leaves your mind. You forget, but it's always in the back of your mind. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get into William first. I always saw him, in the past I've seen him with like one of those Scandinavian Christmas crowns on with the candles. And I feel like um, that he's coming into his own. I feel very, like when, I, when I'm in his energy, I want to stand up straight. And I feel very serious. And yes, he wants his wife to be well, but I feel like it's a lot. I feel like he's really focusing. He's a cancer, so family is really important to him. 
but his the monarchy or his next position as the king eventually will he's really concerned about that and very seriously working on doing that well it's almost to the point of nervousness which I think we all see that he's been been trained really for the last whatever he has 42 years It's family's one thing. He's very serious. Now when it comes to Harry, I'm in his energy and I'm looking at Harry. Like Kate's here and the kids are here. And I see him and looking at George as a very important part of this whole, obviously, the hierarchy. And Harry's way over there. Kind of silent with his head down. Even though I read that he's very angry at him, and all the things he said, the feeling I get when he looks at Harry is like like a neutrality, like there's not a lot of emotion about it um, at this moment today. Free will and all that. Maybe he's not in the spotlight right now. Maybe he's not concerned about him in this moment that I'm in his energy. But I see... <laughs> Harry is Henry is being contrite, like his head down, even though, or he's embarrassed. And it's funny because what I read, he's like going, he's fighting against the media, he's fighting against the um, paparazzi and the courts, and his family is not agreeing with him. But when I see well, it's William's perspective, not Harry's. So when I see him, it's William looks at him and he's looking down. And that just could mean that he's not connected to him and not so much that he's contrite. It just feels like he's not connected to him. Maybe that's it. Um, he's aware of him. I think, and what I hear, you know, these UK media people say oh they should never get back together he should never forgive him it is horrible and i don't know we're humans we make mistakes i know there's a huge one many mistakes and harry's um, another broken person who has had so much in his life and he, i don't think he realizes how much he has and he's focused on what he lost versus on um, how much he has and all the good he has i think he looks at megan to be his be all and end all because she's a voice for his pain right yeah, so Nine of Swords, uh, I see sadness. This is just worry, anxiety. I was in H H Harry's, I keep saying Henry, Harry's uh, headspace. But there's the star, having faith. So I think he has faith. When Harry looks, if I'm in Harry's energy and I look at William, William is like his head is turned. He's not looking at him like that. You won't look at him. But I also feel a sense of two little boys. I, I, I feel like this brotherhood, when Harry looks at him and I feel like there's a brotherhood there, that's never going to go away. You may not speak, but that brotherhood is still there. I mean, obviously, they're blood brothers, but I see him looking at him and I feel this sense of um, connection that won't ever go away. So I think that's what the faith card is about. I think he feels like one day. And um, there is messages going back and forth, but they're not particularly loving. They're, are they texting each other? No, there's nothing. There's no texting. Uh, is he going to see him when he comes? I'll see him. But he won't talk to him. Will he talk to William, maybe? Will he... From William's perspective, he is coming closer, like they're merging, like they're coming together and they'll be in this place. At the same time, William, will he... No. 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 He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. He's too busy and he feels like he's not ready to do that. And he's very emotional. Um, even though I just said that he's neutral, 
as Harry comes and he's there, it's it's too upsetting. He gets mad about it when he sees him. Right now he doesn't. When he sees him, he's going to be mad, so he won't. That's too bad. Uh, well, I mean, whatever. We all have our choices, well, free will, and that's what they choose to do in their relationship. That's okay. It affects a lot of people, and there's a lot of people invested in their emotional <laughs> happiness because of our history with the monarchy and Diana and everything. And uh, uh, yeah, and I'm Harry. I feel like Diana's like right on his left corner, right over here. And I don't know if that he's just carrying her with him, or she's literally there with him, like whispering in his ear. She might be. She might be. All right. Well, Megan and Harry split. Are they? They. He just looks so unhappy in those pictures when they went to Columbia, and other times he just miser looks so miserable. Well, she runs the roost. We all know that. Um, and she has some narcissism that he's an enabler. Truly, he is. Um, and he's weak in some regards when it comes to this relationship because he doesn't want to lose. She feels powerful and he feels weak and he needs her. But also, now, as time is passing, he's realizing her power is eating away at his sense of self and even though he's gone through lots of therapies and he's done all these maybe he's done I don't know if he's done ayahuasca but he's done all kind of mind-bending drugs it hasn't gotten to the source of his pain it's released in peripheral things things that like symptom stuff but if I was Talking to Harry as a hypnotherapist, we would go and he would um, get his inner child. Um, we would work on that, that child that lost his mother. And before he lost his mom, because this all happened. It didn't happen the day she died. It was way before that. So he um, had needs that weren't getting met or he was born into his soul contract was this, where he is having to transform himself repeatedly in this life to become more strong and to um, learn lessons, obviously. Um, yeah, he's waits for her to decide. Like I'm seeing him, Harry, looking at Megan. She's walking around. He's waiting for her to decide something. He's waiting for her to make a move. He's waiting for her to start a project or start this. He's not taking any initiative. He's waiting for her. So, um, I don't think they're splitting anytime soon. Gosh, I almost feel like he's putting money aside. I just saw him because I saw him getting that trust money or whatever it is when he turned 40. And I feel like he's socking it away. He's going to put it over here. Maybe it's for his kids or maybe it's for his getaway fund. Yeah. Which is smart. Otherwise, it would get all absorbed into their world. Does he want to go back? Harry, what do you want to do? Do you want to take? He knows he can't take Megan back. Things would have to change dramatically, and that's not going to happen. He's thinking about how he can rectify all this situation, reconcile her, reconcile his appreciation and actually love for her, uh, his children. He's trying to work out those things. He's not ready to go anywhere anytime soon, but he's thinking about planning. He's like ruminating in his mind. He's not talking to anybody that I can tell, unless it's a friend. What do you want us to know about you and Megan? What do you want us to know about you and Megan? He says, I'm, I'm okay. He says, I'm, I'm doing okay. We're working through stuff. And she's very powerful and strong and smart. Um, and she's working on these projects and they're gonna come out okay. And they don't understand her. Nobody understands her like I do. That's what he's saying. Um, what do you want people to know? They're gonna we're, we're gonna be okay. And 
I can see him like making something out of like blocks and wire which he's creating this family life that is something with the royal family and them together which is like it's all higgledy piggledy it's like wire and um mishmash of things that he's creating this dual family situation it looks really rec uh, hectic and um not organized but i think he thinks that will happen or is happening okay well there you go so harris and trump <clears throat> today energy if we held the election today Harris just comes in my head, but I don't know if that's my own logical brain or just that voice that's telling me the answer. I'm going to pull some cards. Let me just quickly. California, for sure. I see the East Coast, all Harris. Trump is sort of in the middle country, like the rural areas, of course. And in the Southeast, Florida, I see going red. A lot of stuff like Texas, is that possible? I see it as blue. Wow, why? That's a huge state. New Mexico, Arizona, it's kind of beige. It's not red, it's not blue, it's beige. Uh, I think it'll probably take a while. Um, Trump. Okay, I'm going to pull three cards for Trump and three cards for Harris. Let's see where we're at today. Let's go there. Everybody, this is Trump. Oh, Queen of Swords. And that's Kamala. Okay. Okay. Throwing them around. Temperance. The Empress. All right. I'm going to take all those four. Trump got Ten of Wands. Working really hard and really tired. Wheel of Fortune, which is a positive thing, which time will tell, but also there is a season. But how I would interpret is we've got the Queen of Swords and she's putting the kibosh on that season because this is my Kamala card is the Queen of Swords. She has a moon in Aries, so she's a little feistier than a Queen of Swords. But you see, this made the block. Didn't happen. So that's Trump, and I think he's really scared that she's going to win, which she should be. Um, Kamala is the Four of Swords, which is interesting. She's resting, or maybe, um, how does this work? Temperance, the Queen of Cups, and the Empress. This is about creativity. So today i feel like she's kind of down and she's resting but i know she's everywhere but this is almost like she's regrouping maybe that's what this is about she's resetting because of the union a lack of endorsement the teamsters union i think she's resetting she's going okay let me think about this what do we need to do we've got temperance which is balance okay but i see this and see that crow's got that water it's water and earth so combining creativity and practical matters and one at one foot on land and one in the water meaning you can balance both so she's learning she's doing that and then she's got the queen of cups which is the very emotional satisfying uh, motherly nurturing card and so she's going to come back with that people see her as more joyful and more nurturing and more well the woman she's the woman this is like a very strong feeling woman emotional but also really positive um but I'm called to look at this crab. Crabs have the exoskeleton, right? I think it's called, or the shell. And like, a, no, insects has an exoskeleton. exoskeleton right? Anyway, um, I see like she's not showing herself. She's still protecting. And I, I said this in one of my last videos that I, she needs to put more meat on the bone. She needs to talk about her goals more specifically. And But I also saw that they're working on that. And then the Empress. And this is the most highest level of female mother um, creation, abundance. Um, and I see that version of the presidency. So it's not an emperor, the male version. This is the female version. And powerful, but abundant, and creating, and lush, and nurturing. So 
today. I think she'd win today. Okay. So, good news. Free will, though. Everything changes depending on the moon and, or the mood and the moon, I guess. <laughs> and uh, how she goes on the forward in the next couple months. So, today is September. Mid-September, October. Yeah, we've only got like 45 something, 50 days. Woo. Okay. Check in. Somebody had remarked about <clears throat> staying in the light. And I see that valley um, of light and the darkness that sometimes is trying to take over our light, our vibration, our, our um, belief and faith that all is going to be well. And I see darkness, but it's in patches. And that valley, as I move into it, I do see the light getting brighter. It's nighttime. And you know, when you light those lanterns, you burn those kind of paper lanterns and they go up into the sky. That's kind of what I picture. Um, and the God light is coming down. But the more we engage with that light, the more we pray, meditate, and stay in a positive mindset that regardless of what happens, there's day-to-day -day stuff that's scary and fearful. Um, but doesn't mean you have to stay there. It's like I've said, the media wants to sell advertisement. So they keep saying all these scary stuff. And, and it's like, hey, look at this. This is bad. This is bad. Really bad. Tune in at 10 o'clock because it's so bad. And you'll want to watch this. And it's like, just turn it off. You know the truth. Just stay in that place. Okay. Um, keep channeling the God light within. We're all connected. We're all fractions of light. Live in that positive faith built place a place that faith built <laughs> uh, yeah so we are all working on this together we're all connected we really and truly are um so even donald trump is one of us is all we're all part of the same entity it's we're all part of that god light so pray for him pray for um everybody to do the best honorable healthiest um humane thing that we can all uh, live with for a brighter future. All right, till next time, you guys. Take care.